So a little birdie told me that you guys want to see more 2DS and more 3DS videos. Well, we're going to be doing just that today with yet another top five. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here and continuing on with the trend of creating more 2DS and more 3DS videos, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 games for the systems that I think are still worth playing in 2020. As you can imagine, narrowing a list like this down to just 5 was extremely tough. The 3DS line is just a gold mine that is filled with so many incredible titles that, no exaggeration, are mostly all worth your time. Not to mention, you have a full back catalog of DS and virtual console games at your fingertips so there really is quite a bit without further ado though let's get right into this first up is the legend of zelda a link between worlds the 17th installment in the legend of zelda series is without a doubt one of the best to date this sequel to the 1991 classic A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo sees Link merge with walls, jumping between worlds, and fighting off evil to save Zelda and the Kingdom of Hyrule. The more that I think about it, the more I realize that A Link Between Worlds may very well be my favorite 3DS game of all time. I'm not even joking, you guys. Next up is Super Mario 3D Land. It has been a common theme for Super Mario games to consistently one-up themselves, no pun intended, most notably in the form of creativity. From Super Mario 64 to Super Mario Sunshine to Super Mario Galaxy, we've seen Mario tackle a wide variety of adventures over the years, and that's because no two Super Mario games are really the same. They always try to do something different, and that rings true for 3D Land. Nintendo blended together the elements elements of 2D side-scrolling gameplay and modern free-roaming 3D style gameplay to make 3D Land a unique experience that's a blast to play. This game is no doubt one that any Super Mario fan is going to enjoy diving into. Carrying on down the list, we have Pokemon Y. This was the game for me that just changed everything. Having logged hundreds of thousands of hours into Pokemon Red, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, and Emerald prior on the Game Boy consoles over the years, it was such an incredible experience getting to experience the world of Pokemon in 3D. I should have actually recorded my reaction because the first time I was like blown away. Like these games, Pokemon X and Y, they were a game changer for the series. No matter which one you decide to play, you honestly can't go wrong. Even if you decide to go with Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, you really can't go wrong. The 3DS is home to some of the best Pokemon games around. Next on the list is Fire Emblem Awakening. If you like strategy RPG games or Fire Emblem games in general, you are going to love Awakening. In fact, I would actually consider this to be one of the best games in the Fire Emblem series. Awakening brings with it some gorgeous graphics, a compelling storyline, and hours worth of gameplay that'll keep you occupied for quite some time. This is a great game to dive into no matter what time it is. If you have access to a 2DS or a 3DS, you need Fire Emblem Awakening. And last but not least is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It is common knowledge that I absolutely love the Luigi's Mansion games, and with the second entry being on the 3DS, it should come as no surprise that it made it here on this list. Just like with the Mario games that I mentioned earlier, Luigi's Mansion games always consistently tend to one-up themselves as well, especially in the creativity department. Dark Moon introduces a number of clever stages and techniques that'll keep you coming back to the various mansions in the game for hours upon hours on end. Even with Luigi's Mansion 3 out on the Switch, Dark Moon is still worth going back to and checking out. This game is great. So guys, there you have it. Only five of many 3DS games that I think are still worth playing to this very day. I hope you guys enjoyed this top five and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, let me know what your favorite 3DS game of all time is. Is it one on this list? Is it another one? I would love to know what you think down in the comments box down below. And until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Get out there, go game, and have some fun. Peace.